Sebastian Vettel shocked the world when he announced his retirement at the end of this season. The four-time world champion will leave after spending his last season in Aston Martin, and now is the perfect time to reminisce about his history in the sport and go through some facts that not many of you knew about Sebastian. So buckle up and let's start with the countdown. Number 12. Vettel's idols share the same name. We know that one of the biggest heroes and idols of Sebastian Vettel was the seven-time world champion Michael Schumacher. Both of them could be seen on and off track as close friends as Michael was somewhat like a mentor to Sebastian. Now Sebastian is using the same knowledge gained from Michael to pass to his son Mick Schumacher. However, Vettel has still more idols that share the same name as Schumacher. One of them is the basketball legend Michael Jordan and the other one is the singer Michael Jackson. Vettel has grown with the influence of these three people, but it's most evident that the influence of Michael Schumacher was the strongest one, molding him as a successful F1 driver. Number 11. Vettel wanted to be a singer Prior to his interest in pursuing a career in motor racing, Vettel's dream was to become a singer. And one could understand where this comes from, given the fact that Michael Jackson was one of his idols. These are two very different careers, and Vettel surely had a tough time deciding what career path he'll choose. When Vettel was a kid, he had a great falsetto singing voice. In addition to that, he was aiming to be as successful as Michael Jackson. However, puberty hit him, and it dissuaded him from his singing career. Many would wonder what would happen with Sebastian if he was a singer, but most of us are glad that he didn't pursue that career and chose to be a racing driver. Number 10. Sebastian skipped secondary school most athletes have to decide whether they'll continue to college or continue with their racing dreams and pursue a career in motor racing. However, Vettel didn't even attend secondary school. According to him, he was terrible at school, but if you look at his profile, you'll see that he made it through the Starkenberg Gymnasium, which is essentially a middle and high school combined. Not only did he pass the school, but his grades were respectable too. And if you thought that this school is one of those that are easily passed in Germany, think again. The Starkenberg Gymnasium is one of the most respected and advanced schools of three types in Germany. Number 9. Vettel is a huge fan of Enzo Ferrari. This goes without saying, Vettel loves Ferrari. He always respected the team, and although they separated on bit to matters, Vettel still has huge respect for the team. He said that he's a huge fan of Enzo Ferrari, the founder of the team, as he has been fascinated by his life and his vision of Enzo. I'm fascinated by the vision of the man. Today, the brand of Ferrari is known all over the world. It has global significance, but back then, no one could have imagined that. Commented Vettel. It's incredible that all of this came from the mind of one person. It's a shame he's not here anymore. Number 8. Vettel started his racing career early. You don't become a four-time consecutive world champion if you aren't molded from a very young age. Vettel started his career at the age of three and a half, driving go-karts. How many three and a half year olds can say that they've driven go-karts? By the age of eight, Vettel was already part of an amateur karting series, and it wasn't long before he started to win in these categories too. Three years after joining the amateur karting series, he won the Junior Monaco Kart Cup. Bear in mind that these were the years when Vettel was also considering a singing career, so he really had a lot on his plate to choose from. Number 7. He was signed by Red Bull Junior Academy at the age of 11. While many of his fellows were learning how to ride a bike or were starting to learn about pimples, Vettel was approached by Red Bull and was signed into the Junior Academy. The team had a vision of developing their own drivers through their academy, such as the case now with Max Verstappen, Pierre Gasly, Yuki Tsunoda, and of course Sebastian Vettel. Red Bull noted the talent that was present in Vettel, but converting that into a successful F1 driver is a whole another accomplishment. Red Bull Junior Academy was committed to developing Sebastian into a successful F1 driver material, and we can safely say that they've managed to absolutely nail it. Number 6. He made it to open wheel racing by the age of 16. We know that Vettel made lots of youngest ever records in F1, but that didn't come suddenly. Vettel got to experience open wheel racing at the age of 16, driving in the German Formula BMW Championship. He joined the racing competition at the age of 16 and won the following year, winning 18 out of the 20 races. BMW Formula was serving as an introduction to car racing to the drivers who just graduated from karting. It lasted 15 years from 1998 to 2013 and it provided scholarships to some of its drivers. Number 5. Vettel debuted in F1 at the age of 18 At the age of 18, Vettel was signed as a reserve driver for BMW Sauber and what's even more impressive is that he had to ask the high school he was attending 
At that time, for permission to test drive while he was still in school. Not many 18-year-olds can brag about this feature, huh? Vettel wanted to work out with Williams first, but the team didn't believe in him, which is why he opted in for BMW Sauber. Even a more interesting feature is that Vettel holds the record for receiving the fastest fine in his career just 10 seconds after he entered an F1 car. In the 2006 Turkish GP, where Vettel was a test driver for BMW Sauber, he was fined $1,000 for speeding in the pit lane in the first 10 seconds of his career. Number 4. Vettel owns a huge house in Switzerland. When he's not racing, Vettel loves to enjoy and relax with his family. It appears that he loves to do that in a small canton in Switzerland called Thurgo. Vettel's house is priced at $7 million and it has at least 4 bedrooms and 3 bathrooms. Here, Vettel stores all of his supercars and the superbikes he owns. The house is nearby Kimi Raikkonen's house, a friend of Vettel and his teammate in Ferrari. Number 3. Sebastian owns an F1 art collection. Seb is a huge fan of the international artist Mark Dickens and he collects a huge amount of F1 art. The collection itself consists of layers of photographs, paintings and texts celebrating the lives of F1 champions. Mark Dickens collaborated with renowned F1 photographer Keith Sutton to complete this collection. When I first heard of this project three years ago, I was fascinated. It wasn't until I saw the completed original artwork in London last December that I realized how impressive they are," said Vettel in a 2016 interview. Number 2. Vettel scored 1 out of the 2 wins of Toro Rosso. The second one was scored by Pierre Gasly in Alfa Tori, which is the rebranded version of Toro Rosso. However, Vettel's one was kind of a bigger deal since Red Bull was still struggling to get in grips with their car with Coulthard and Weber and Vettel was in Toro Rosso in 2008. He won the Italian GP and at that time he was the youngest race winner ever at the age of 21 years and 2 months. The track was soaked with rain which just went to emphasize Sebastian's ability to drive in these kinds of conditions. Number 1. Vettel names his cars This is something that Vettel picked up from the American bomber pilots in World War II and it shows that Vettel is a superstitious person when it comes to F1 racing. His cars were named Julie, Kate, Kate's dirty sister, Heidi, the motivation comes from Heidi Knum, a German-American model, etc. The four-time world champion will go down as one of the most legendary drivers to ever do it in this sport. The four consecutive championships with Red Bull have propelled Vettel in the list with Schumacher, Fangio, Senna, Prost and Hamilton joining them later on. Again, it's sad to see him leaving the sport as he does now with Aston Martin struggling to get a hold of their car, but nevertheless, Seb is a legend that although was hated a lot when he joined Ferrari, has managed to find another purpose in the sport and fight for other, more important goals than racing.